I'm a, basically I'm a bridge between um, uh, uh, Professor Jackson's class and also the My Brother's Keeper program as a coordinator. I thought it would be best to integrate myself into the course, um, helping with discussions, especially since the topic is actually intervening in the life of African American males. So I thought it was pertinent that I actually participate in the class so the also the students know me as well on a more personal, personable level as well. I've actually been directly involved with all the projects that they have been doing. Um, I guess so, somewhat of a surrogate TA in many ways. Um, they can ask me questions, especially since I've been mentoring for a long time. They can ask me questions, one, about mentoring, two, about feedback about their presentations. So in, in My Brother's Keeper, you know, we actually try to keep hold of that. So we always give feedback amongst each other with presentations. So it's another person, um, in addition to uh, Dr. Jackson, of course, to actually give feedback and to assist in, um, in the presentation and constructing them as well. The course is very engaged with the students. Um, I, the, even hearing some of the touching stories about how they personally connect with the My Brother's Keeper uh, student or mentees has been touching in many ways, especially when you, you know, I remember one young lady in class, I won't name any names, but she, there were some instances where she felt touched and she actually cried in the class um, when she thought about the conversation she had with one of the students. So it's not only just doing civic engagement, but it's affecting the um, uh, the course students, the RCAH students, in a very personal way, which is also important. So not only fulfilling community service as a course, but also personally as filling something with them, some void perhaps, personally. Definitely uh, showing them the crisis in black males today. There are other students, uh, not just black, but also uh, many white students, obviously, who are interested in intervening in the life of African American males, even for a few hours on a Saturday. I mean, and many hours in the classroom because this is the topic of the course. I definitely think that um, this type of course, um, you know, I give kudos to the RCAH for actually having this course because many civic engagement courses, you know, they're not actually intervening in some real problem. And I think this is something that many of them can apply to their uh, real world life even after they leave the classroom because they'll be thinking not only they gain critical thinking skills and then they will be able to sort of take that critical thinking skills and apply it, some apply their theory to some practical application in other venues in their life.